Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a little different than most of my normal content. I got this idea from Alexandra Buter. If you guys don't follow her here on YouTube, then I will leave her channel linked in the description box below for you to check out. This video is going to be 50 of my last Amazon purchases. And I went through and looked at my last 50 purchases and realized one, I don't shop on Amazon as much as I thought that I did because um, 50 purchases took me all the way back to summertime before I bought my house. So there are a lot of very interesting purchases on this list. I hope you guys really enjoyed this kind of video. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys through each purchase and then I will pop a little photo of it over here so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but also I'm gonna have all of these things linked in my description box so you guys can go check them out too. So the first thing that's on my list is hot glue guns, which I am a school teacher. So I feel like a lot of things on this list, you're gonna be like, hmm, very crafty. Um, so these hot glue guns, I got three of them and they're just mini hot glue guns. So they're great to have on hand if you have like a craft project or something that you're working on. The next thing that I purchased was my selfie ring light tripod that I actually use a lot for filming. Um, this is a really awesome tripod if you are just starting out on YouTube and you're using your phone to film or something like that. The ring light has a lot of different options and you'll actually get to see it in my day in the life vlog. I do a little unboxing of some new YouTube equipment and I also include a little clip of that in there for you to see as well. The next thing that I purchased is a three hole punch and I actually use this a lot. I um, have a lot of binders and I keep track of a lot of stuff. This is my filing cabinet here in my office behind me. So I like to have a three hole punch um, here at home so I can use it for whatever I need to in my office and this one is really good. Number four is going to be um, my TurboTax software. Yes, I do my own taxes. Yes, it is a huge pain, but this TurboTax software actually makes it really easy to get my taxes done and I had them done super early this year. So I purchased it on Amazon because they just had the best price at the time. The next thing that I got was um, piano books. So I teach piano lessons and so I bought a bunch of books that I needed for some of my students. If you are someone who takes piano lessons or you have a child who takes piano lessons and maybe you've seen these books before um, definitely check them out if you are considering taking lessons or maybe you're considering them for your kids number six is a pack of nose rings so both myself and my boyfriend we have our nose pierced so we got like a pack of different like hoops and studs and things to try out and I always find that the surgical steel jewelry on Amazon I really don't have any problems with it it's all hypoallergenic and really cute and good quality Number seven makes me laugh because I actually did not get to wear this in time, which I am so bummed about, but it is a music teacher shirt. It's a really cute shirt that I got at Christmas time specifically for music teachers. And it says the best way to spread Christmas cheer is teaching music to everyone here. And I am so bummed that I did not get to wear this. It did not get um, to my house in time for me to wear it around the holidays. So I held on to it and I'm going to use it next year to wear at school. I just think it is so cute. So the next thing that I got was an ornament that I gave to my dad for Christmas. Um, we are Dallas Cowboy fans. I was born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas. So I gave my dad this ornament because obviously if you watch NFL football, you know the Cowboys did not do very good this year. So I thought this would be a fun little gift to give my dad a little pep talk and I think he really thought it was cute. Okay, so number nine is really awesome and I love this so much. I'm probably gonna buy more of these. These are the Amazon Basics USB cables. And they come in different lengths. So the one that I bought was a six foot one. It was really long. And the idea is that the longer it is, you can plug it in so you don't have to worry about not being close enough to a plug because the cord will reach. And these are just really awesome to have on hand. I feel like anytime I'm going to edit or something like that, I'm always looking for a USB cord. So I will probably buy a few more of these in some different sizes. The next thing was a white elephant gift around Christmas time. It's a book of stickers. They're like I adulted stickers. So they say different things like I paid the bills today or I went grocery shopping and I thought this was a perfect white elephant gift, gag gift. It doesn't just have to be for Christmas time, but they are hilarious hilarious and definitely a good gift for an adult in your life. Number 11 is also a Christmas gift. I got a pack of 10 $5 Starbucks gift cards. I find it really hard in like just in general and I wouldn't even say during the holiday season to find varieties of different packs of gift cards. I didn't want to buy 
10 ten dollar gift cards i didn't want to buy 10 25 dollar gift cards i just wanted like a handful of really inexpensive amounts so i could just hand it out to different co-workers or the mailman or people that i just wanted to give small tokens of appreciation to and so amazon is the best place to get like bulk gift cards especially if you want low dollar amounts and you want a lot of them so the next thing here is a wall mount and it has three outlets so it plugs into one outlet it turns into three outlets and then it also has a couple of places for you to plug in like a USB so that way if you need to like charge your like I have an Apple watch you could charge your phone with that as well um, I just find it really handy to have by my bed because I have a lot of different things I'm plugging in at night and so this has really come in handy the next thing that I got was another Christmas gift so I got the ancestry DNA kit off of Amazon because they were running a really good deal around Christmas time and so I bought them on Amazon you can get them other places too um, but I would always keep an eye on when Amazon runs certain deals or certain specials on certain products because I got one for my dad and for my boyfriend and they were pretty inexpensive compared to what they normally cost um, and I'm really excited to see them use it and try it and see um, like what their results are if you guys have seen any of my decorate videos then you will have seen the next two items um, that are on the list number 14 and number 15 so number 14 14 are these really cool white birch logs that I got that I've been putting in my fireplace and then decorating. My fireplace is a wood burning fireplace, but it is not functional. It's not safe to light a real fire. So I got these logs to kind of decorate the space and just make it a little bit prettier. And then I got these LED candles. This is number 15 and these are amazing. They have um, different heights. So some are short and some are taller and they're battery operated. You can set them on a timer and they came with so many. I didn't even use all of them in my fireplace. Some of them I have in other parts of the house. So this was definitely a good value. And I would say I've had these plugged in now for about six months and the batteries that I originally put in there have not died. So they do last a long time as long as you remember to turn turn them off. The next thing I got, I remember I got around, I think it was Thanksgiving because I was making a recipe that I needed to like chop up nuts or something. And I realized I didn't have a food processor. So this is a teeny little food processor by Cuisinart. And I love this thing. I've used it a handful of times to bake. I really love baking. So this thing works really well. It's very inexpensive. If you don't need something heavy duty, then this is definitely the one you want. I'm going back through all these things and realizing that this was like when I was in the thick of like planning for my Christmas decor and all that. So the next thing that is on the list is a faux fur Christmas tree skirt. And this looked so pretty. It just reminded me of like white snow and it looked really good with like all the white and bright clean decor that I had around Christmas time. And I just absolutely loved it. I couldn't find anything like this in the store, especially for this price. The next couple of things that I got were actually Christmas gifts. So um, the next one that I got was a moleskin notebook. Um, my boyfriend really wanted one of these to like jot notes down and stuff at work. And then I also got him number 19, which were these deodorizer sneaker balls. You basically, I think you like twist them and then you stick them inside your shoe and they just like make your shoes smell nice and stuff. I thought it would be good for like his work shoes or his gym shoes and stuff like that. Definitely a good gift for the guy in your life. Number 20 is a set of four Irish coffee mugs. These are like the clear ones and they are so beautiful. I use these for various hot drinks. You can serve like Irish coffee in them like, the, like it's supposed to be, but I would do hot toddies in these. Um, I made like a bourbon apple cider drink around Thanksgiving that I served in these with a cinnamon stick. Oh my gosh, they were to die for. I just really love how they're clear so you can see right through them whatever you put inside. Number 21 is super cool. I love this thing. So I currently use it and mostly probably will use it as a cake stand or just, you know, a stand for like desserts or baked goods, but you can also turn it upside down and use it as a punch bowl. You can also use it as like a chip and dip bowl. So I love that it's versatile. You can use it for different things if you're entertaining and um, it's really heavy duty. It is made out of real glass. It is not plastic. So it is an awesome product. Number 22 is my Roku. I had to get this Roku for my upstairs TV because the smart TV capabilities just kind of like pooped out on me. So the Roku has been really awesome and I have no complaints. 
The next thing I got, I procrastinated on getting for so long. I used to get that like black ring around the tops of my candles. And then finally I was like, I need a candle wick trimmer to keep the black off of the candles. So this candle wick trimmer is awesome. You just stick it down inside, trim your wicks and you are good to go. You won't have any more of that like black smudge um, on the tops of your candles. So I think I'm going to make a whole separate video about this next product because I have a lot of beauty products and a lot of beauty things that I want to talk to you guys about, but I will include it in this video. Um, it is an LED nail kit and it did not come with like a bunch of different colors. So I did buy some nail polishes separately. Um, you do want to make sure that if you're buying nail polish for the LED um, nail thing that you're using LED polish or UV polish. And I will say that this thing works so well. It is definitely way cheaper than going to the salon and I am saving so much money by doing my own nails at home. Number 25 are my blue light glasses and I love these things. So whether I'm doing stuff for school or I am editing or whatever it is that I am doing, I honestly love these glasses so much. They like really keep my headaches away and they really keep my eyes from over straining and I think they look super cute. The next thing is a sleep mask. So I get a lot of sunlight in my bedroom in the mornings and if it's the weekend or I just, you know, I'm not ready to get up yet. I really like going to sleep with this mask on. It just kind of like helps me to like stay asleep longer, especially if I go to bed late. I don't want to really be waking up at like seven when the sun rises. So um, it's silk and it feels really nice on your skin and on your face and it's really inexpensive and super cute, way cuter than any of the ones that I could find in store. So the next thing that I um, got from Amazon is a plant stand. So if you guys have seen in, I believe it was my spring home decor haul, you may have seen the plant that's behind my bed, which I will get to in just a second, but I have a plant and it's sitting in this little plant stand. I got a pot for it as well. I think the pot that I got was from Ikea. And then I put the pot in the plant stand and it works super well to like hold the plant kind of up off the carpet. And so that's gonna be number 28 is the plant. So I didn't realize that Amazon sold like fake artificial plants. So this ficus tree that I bought is what is behind my bed right now. It's kind of filling like an empty like space in my, like behind my bed and it works perfectly. I strung some fairy lights through it and I think it is a really like nice decor piece and it didn't cost that much. Okay, so the next thing is a Christmas tree bag. I ended up having to store my Christmas trees in my attic and I just didn't want them to get ruined. And so I just got this Christmas tree bag and I have two Christmas trees um, and possibly like a third one. Like if you have many ones, you could fit them in there too, but it's just a bag and it zips up and it makes it really easy to like pull the, it out at Christmas time, but also to keep it dry and protected from the elements. Number 30 is very random. Um, it's this like chunky glitter that I got to do. It's like eyeshadow glitter. So it was for a costume for Halloween. I was a mermaid. So I got the chunky glitter to like put on my eyelids. And um, you have to also get the glue to go with it. You can't just like stick it on. But it looked really cute. And they have a bunch of different like colors and different products like that. I had never used that particular brand before, but it worked really well. So the next thing that I got was a utensil holder, which I use on my bar cart. So um, on my bar cart, I have all of my like bar accessories and things like that. So I needed a way to store them. So this is just a plain white utensil holder. It is really heavy duty, really nice quality. Number 32 is my favorite daily face lotion. This is the CeraVe um, face lotion and it has a little bit of SPF in it, which is great, especially for all times of the year. If you're gonna be outside, I really wanna protect this face from you know, harsh sunlight and stuff like that. So this is my favorite go-to moisturizer and I love it. We are definitely getting into all of the home stuff. As I was moving in, I was like finding things that I needed around the house to organize things better. So the next thing is a white serving tray that I ended up using on my bar cart and I now use it in my bedroom kind of as a little tray and it's good for anything. For a while I used it in my kitchen and I put stuff on it. For a while I had it on my bar cart and I put bar items on it. Now it's in my bedroom. So you really can't go wrong with serving trays. They work great for living rooms or anything like that. These set of baskets that I got here on Amazon were such good value for money. Um, I use these in my linen closet to organize like my hand towels and my washcloths and things like that. And it is so amazing. I absolutely love these. If you are someone who does a lot of baking like I do, you really need to try these silicone baking cups. I do a lot of like um, Starbucks copycat egg bites and they always stuck to my cupcake 
tins, which was so annoying. So I got these silicone liners and they instantly fixed the problem. Everything that you cook in them just slips right out and they are so amazing. I love them so much. I'm probably going to order a second set. The next thing that I got was another storage option for my house. This is a wire storage basket. I've seen some things very similar to this um, at Target, the wire one, but also the wicker ones that I just showed you as well. You can find a lot of things very similar at Target. I just thought the prices on Amazon for these were a little bit better. The next two things that I got were when I was putting in my new light fixtures in my house. So the first is a set of LED dimmable bulbs, which are, they're the Edison kind of bulbs. So they look really cool. And a lot of my light fixtures have like clear glass globes so you can see the light bulb. So I wanted them to be very decorative and very pretty. And then the second ones that I got are Wi-Fi bulbs, which are amazing. If you have an Amazon or Alexa, or if you have a Google Home, then you can use these Wi-Fi bulbs to tell Google or to tell Alexa to turn on your lights. They have been such a game changer, especially when I'm coming in and it's dark outside or it's dark in my house and I have groceries. I love that I can just ask Google to turn on my lights and it has been really convenient. I haven't bought these in a long time because I was feeling kind of bad about wasting the plastic, but the next thing is slow cooker liners. If you are somebody who regularly uses your crock pot, I would really recommend getting these liners, especially if you're cooking stuff that really likes to stick to your crock pot. Um, I love these things. I just sometimes have such a hard time with the idea of using them because I know that it's wasteful, but really if you are in a pinch and you don't have time to sit there and scrub your crock pot, you really should use these. Number 40 are the shelf liners that I have used on my bar cart. So my bar cart is wire and I know that sometimes people's closets also have the same thing like the wire shelving. These shelf liners are amazing because they help protect things from falling in between the wires on the shelves. They are super decorative and really cute and very easy to wipe down when they get dirty. So the next thing that I got is an oven thermometer. I was having some trouble with my oven temperature for a while and I wanted to make sure that it was accurate. So this oven thermometer just kind of hangs in your oven and then it tells you what the temperature is inside to make sure that what the real temperature is matches what it says on the readout. Number 42 is not very exciting. It is the ink cartridges for my printer. Um, I really recommend HP if you are looking for a printer. I have had my HP printer since I was in college and I absolutely love it. It has never failed me. The next thing that I got were Expo markers and these are just the fine tip ones and I got a huge pack of them because again teacher life. I needed these for my classroom. Number 44 is what I use to store my everyday makeup in. It is an acrylic organizer, which if you guys don't know, I am obsessed with acrylic organizers. These are just the most amazing things ever. I just love when you can like see things in it and it's all organized. But I use this to store my everyday makeup brushes and my everyday makeup underneath my bathroom sink and it works perfectly. Number 45 is a ton of packing tape. So I remember making this purchase back when I was packing up my apartment before I moved into my house and I had a ton of packing to do. At the time I thought it was kind of overkill to get that many rolls of tape until I started actually packing and realized it was a smart move to get that much. So I use this micellar cleansing water to cleanse all of the makeup off of my face before I wash my face. And I just use a cotton round and it works really, really well. Um, it doesn't, it's not like soap that will burn your eyes or something like that. It's just really gentle and it even removes waterproof makeup, especially eye makeup, which can be really tricky. I definitely recommend this one. The next purchase makes me laugh. I got these um, balloons. These are the 25 balloons because I just turned 25 this summer and I really wanted a picture with me. I'll insert the picture here. I really wanted a picture with me holding the balloons in front of my house when I bought the house. So I got these balloons on Amazon and then I just took them to one of my local stores and had them fill them up with helium for me and it worked really well. Number 48 are these space saver bags, which I absolutely love. They were perfect for packing because they compacted all of my linens and towels and things really, really nicely, but also they are great for if you are in a pinch for storage. You can use these and just stack them in a linen closet or under your bed or wherever you need to. They keep things clean and dry and free from 
anything that could possibly get on them. The next thing that I got were some laminating sheets for a personal laminator that I have in my classroom. I really like to have my own laminator and laminating sheets so that if I need to laminate something in a pinch, I don't have to worry about sending it to the workroom. I can just throw it in and be done. And the last thing, number 50 is hilarious. This is a Harry Potter hat. So I taught a summer camp last summer in which I needed some Harry Potter items in order to fit the theme of the camp. And so I got this sorting hat on Amazon on and it was a perfect costume piece. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you found this really interesting and really helpful, especially if there are some things that you have been wanting to get on Amazon, or if you're just curious what other people buy on Amazon. I know that I like to watch these kinds of videos. I'm very nosy sometimes. But if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here, and I will see you guys really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.